counties have already received tens of thousands of ballots, either by mail or in early voting. Crown Force Amanda Harry caught up with the Santa Clara County Office of Registrar to see how things are going there. Amanda. She tells me so far things are going very smoothly and that she anticipates this is going to be high turnout for a special election. We're predicting about a 50 to 60 percent turnout overall for the election. And with things going so far in the returns, we may actually surpass that 60 percent original estimates. That's on par with the 2020 March primary election, according to Santa Clara County Registrar of Voters, Shannon Boucher. If you compare it to my one prior recall election in 2003, where there was a 60.1 percent turnout, so we may very well surpass that with this election. Boucher tells me some special elections only see about 30 percent turnout, so she anticipates a lot of participation under the circumstances. The election day is the biggest day that we receive ballots, whether it's from the mail or from all the drop boxes. She says Santa Clara County started using a new voting system at the beginning of 2020, and they'll likely have preliminary results on election night. There's election night results and then there's final results. So our election night results will be faster. Final results are always going to be for us 30 days after the election. Boucher emphasized if you're not registered to vote yet, regardless of what county you live in, you can still vote. It's called conditional voter registration. All they need to do is come down to any one of the 36 vote centers. They will be able to register and actually vote at the same time. If you still have your ballot at home and need to mail that in, you can still do that. It just has to be postmarked by tomorrow, September 14th, and received seven days after the election. Live in San Francisco, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.